Hello friends and happy Wednesday. Thanks so much for allowing me to uh, update you on a few things going on here in our wonderful community of St. Cecilia's, making Jesus come alive in Burholm, Rockledge, and Fox Chase and beyond. Uh, I'm filming this on Tuesday night, so hopefully we're all happy about a Phillies victory in this new series with Miami. Um, but, you know, if not, well, we've got two more games. A few things. Uh, hopefully you had a chance to see the beautiful grotto uh, to the Blessed Mother and the makeover that happened there through Dan Brady, our Eagle Scout, and the uh, flowers around the Pieta, the trees down on Stanwood. Absolutely beautiful. Grateful to all those who donated. We, we certainly hit our goal, and we'll have a memorial plaque up at some point uh, in, in the weeks to come. But so grateful to Dan, to the Scouts, to his parents, uh, and, and all those who came out on Saturday. Really, really amazing. Also grateful tonight, uh, we had a Tuesday night, we had the Memorial Mass for Father Lucas's brother. He just, he just left, just walked into the car. Um, really great turnout of people to, to pray with him and, and, and support him uh, in his grief. Keep uh, his brother Rick's soul in prayer and, and Rick's wife, who obviously is having a very tough time. Uh, Father Lucas's brother had just retired and then became ill quite quickly. Um, and so the uh, hoped for retirement experience of travel they didn't get to have. So a true reminder that, that we never know when the end comes and every day is certainly very, very precious. Uh, tonight, uh, Wednesday night, uh, the Feast of St. Francis will be uh, blessing the animals. So Father Fong is looking forward to this as am I meeting all of our, our, our animal uh, loving friends with their beloved pets. Uh, we are at over a thousand subscribers on our YouTube, so we'll also be able to probably uh, stream that live and, and, and share some of the great things that are happening at St. Cecilia's on our YouTube channel and certainly more on that to come. Uh, Tuesday night, um, I'm sorry, yeah, next Tuesday night, we're going to have our Next Generation Implementation Team. This is the second time they're meeting, but really the first time just as an implementation team. Uh, and you're going to be certainly hearing a lot more about this as we try to transform the parish around engagement of young families, service and outreach and spiritual growth. We want to be a parish that really is making an impact in the lives of not just those who are already coming here, but those who are not yet returning. Uh, getting a lot of uh, questions from folks in the in the school about uh, getting their kids sacraments and returning to church. So please keep praying for our outreach efforts. We started RCA on Monday night. We've got uh, five men, uh, which is kind of a unique thing. I don't think in my priesthood I've ever had an all male uh, RCA group. We're now called OCIA, uh, but but a really wonderful group of men and, and grateful to all the folks from the parish who are assisting us with that. Uh, some have asked about the weekly collection. We're not hitting our average. Uh, we were pretty aggressive in our budget for this year, and we, we raised our goal uh, a bit, and we're falling short by about $1,400. And so um, it, it's not that the collections have dropped, but we're not meeting the new goals that we set. And so certainly would be really grateful for anyone who can make an increased offering, and if we can be more mindful of that so that we can continue to meet our financial obligations. Uh, St. Cecilia's has a wonderful history of financial solvency, and we certainly want to continue to honor what Father Bonner and, and what Senior Drager sought to do uh, in their time of, of, of good stewardship. And so I'm grateful for your support on that, and uh, the Finance Council certainly continues to uh, assist me in, in monitoring that and, and continuing to plan accordingly. But sometimes we have to look at what we're offering and say, maybe I can give a little bit more. I haven't upgraded. It is a time of inflation. Our expenses continue to go and we'll be sharing a full financial report uh, certainly next month. Uh, daily Mass, have you ever thought about Daily Mass? We're blessed with many people at the 6.30 Mass and the 8.30 Mass, um, but we would love to have more, right? Father Fogg and I have been talking about that. Folks who maybe are retired or are going to work late, uh, maybe you can't make the commitment to every day, but maybe one day a week and then eventually two days a week. Just that extra opportunity. Daily Mass has been running up 20 to 25 minutes. The 6.30 is about 20, 22 minutes. Uh, the 8.30 is about 25 minutes. Um, so it's not like a Sunday Mass. It's, it's, it's briefer, uh, but still the beautiful encounter of receiving Jesus and being nourished by his word. So look at your calendar and we would love to have you there. Look forward to being with you at events this week and certainly this weekend as we praise and worship the Lord from whom all blessings flow. Uh, certainly in the weeks to come, I'll be talking a little bit more about the Synod as well. News hitting uh, the, the world about uh, Pope Francis's comments about uh, blessing same-sex couples and 
uh, reaction by some. I've already got a few people reaching out to me. So we'll be certainly talking more about that in the weeks to come. And uh, we have to be careful, right? What did the Pope actually say? Uh, and not only what did the Pope say, but what actually happens, right? What is the practice of the church? Uh, we certainly want to continue to hold up traditional marriage, uh, God's plan in the Bible, a uh, relationship between one man and one woman. Uh, and I know that that's certainly under attack in today's world. And so certainly more conversations with that on our parish, but calm down, Jesus is still Lord. And our church has weathered many storms and we will weather whatever one is coming now too. Have an awesome week.